Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Sophie Society. I am Sophie. Thanks for clicking on this video. And uh, I just wanted to do a quick intro to the vlog. So here's the intro and go ahead and enjoy this vlog. Hey guys, I wanted to show y'all what I got from Target. Not that many things, so I just wanted to show y'all a little some some. First, I got just some of these um, floss, dental flosses. Love these versus regular string floss. So much more convenient. Then I got these thingies like you put in your shoes or, sorry I'm out of breath, I just ran up the stairs. But you put in your shoes, whatever, for like little, help your shoes feel more comfortable. Got these. Boom! I know y'all have been seeing about this, hearing about this. Everyone's been raving about it. The Honey Pot Company Foaming Wash. So I've been wanting to try this for so long. Every time I go to Target, it's sold out. I was going to get the original one, but it was sold out. And all they had was the sensitive one left. So I got this. Super duper excited to use this. And I'm going to try it tonight and tell you guys what I think. Hey guys, so today is Sunday. I look kind of bad right now, but I want to show y'all. I'm actually about to get in the shower, do my Sunday shower routine. Like regular showers are like, okay, I'm about to take a, you know, take a shower. But on Sundays, it's like in depth. I'm going to be in there a while. Like I'm shaving, washing my hair, detangling. Y'all know, long showers, quick showers. Today is a long one. Anyways, yeah, my hair is like, I've literally been wearing my hair like this all week to work. Like in a low thingy, but why does this camera look different? Yeah, I need to wash my hair and detangle it, deep condition, all that good stuff. But I wanted to show y'all, just because I love watching other people's like shower routines or stuff like that. So I'm going to show y'all what I use in my shower. So look at my nice little silk pajamas laying out ready for me. Ow. But yeah, this is the stuff that I use. Or that I've been using lately so I've been using the Aveeno um, daily moisturizing body wash because I do have eczema and this helps with dry skin but I've also been using the Dove cucumber green tea which is also in my shower so I just alternate um, and then for my body scrub exfoliator I'm going to be using Shea Moisture, Coconut and Hibiscus, Illuminating Hand and Body Scrub. This smells so good. If you guys are familiar with the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancer Smoothie, then you know this smells just like it. It smells so good. And my skin feels so soft after scrubbing with this. Love it. For my deep um, conditioner, I'm going to be using uh, Shea Moisture. Sponsor me. Shea Moisture um, Rehydration Treatment Mask. And then I showed you guys this. I'm so excited. I'm going to be using this today. Hey, girl. Hi. Um, and then when I get out the shower, obviously, you know, moisturizing. Like I said, I have dry skin and eczema. So I've been using the Cetaphil. Um, just classic dry, sensitive skin lotion. Like in the winter time, when it's a little colder outside, my skin is really dry. I use a cream, like body butters and body creams. But for right now, the lotion will suffice. Then I use some sort of oil. So right now I'm using the mango, come on, mango mimosa body oil from Target. And this smells so amazing. It's dried rose petals in it. This smells so good, y'all. Um, and then bio oil, I don't use over my whole body. Will this camera focus, please? Baby, can you focus on me? Me. Okay, so bio oil, not on my whole body. I only use this on my uh, breast. As y'all know, I had a breast reduction, so I still have a little bit of light scarring. Then I have my deodorant. Lately, I've been using this, which is something new I'm trying, Almay Sensitive Skin Hyperallergenic Deodorant, because like I said, I have eczema. My eczema is mainly under my armpits. Hope that's not TMI. But so I have to be really careful with the deodorant that I use. It has to be hyperallergenic or else it's a mess under the okay. So yeah, I'm just about to hop in the shower and just cleanse myself, child. Moisturize myself. And 
I'm actually going to leave the deep conditioner in my hair overnight. One, because I'm honestly too lazy to rinse it out because if I rinse it out, that means I have to actually, because I'm going to do a twist out. So that means I'm going to have to twist my hair tonight. Don't feel like doing it. I'm tired. And two, um, overnight just seems like it really works better. And then tomorrow I'll rinse it out and twist my hair up. So I'm about to take my shower. I'll see y'all later. Hey guys, it's the next morning, Monday morning. Anyways, um, yeah, so I am headed to the doctor. I have a doctor's appointment to get some blood work and all that stuff done. And look at my skin. Y'all, I, I didn't really notice, but my I didn't notice until my sister told me. She was like, your skin look a lot of good these days. I never had problematic skin anyways, but... Um, over the last few months, I've been wanting to like brighten up a few dark marks and just have a brighter, not lighter, okay, brighter look. And it's really been looking good lately. Anyways, so yeah, I'm just going to the doctor's appointment, y'all. I still got that deep conditioner in my hair. But anyways, my hair is still wrapped up. That's why I have on this Nike hat. But I kind of want to show y'all what I was wearing, even though the lighting sucks. Where my mirror is, it sucks really bad. But um, this is just super duper simple Nike hat. This long, I love fall time because I love cardigans. It's like beige, camel, whatever cardigan. And then I just have on these black leggings and this black tank top. But I really wanted to show y'all my shoes that I got. Look how cute and comfortable. Y'all, please excuse my floor. That's the floor of a hardworking woman. Oh my gosh, Nipsey. Look at my shoes. So cute. Y'all, these are from Walmart. Don't sleep on Walmart. Okay. Over the years, Walmart has progressed with a little, a few of their fashions now. I ain't gonna lie. I have these sweatpants that I got from Walmart the other week. They're pink and they're so cute. It says Mean Girls. Y'all know the movie Mean Girls on Wednesdays we wear pink. That's what it says on the side of the pants. So cute. I said, Walmart. It's Hi, can I get a medium iced coffee with caramel and mocha, cream, um, light sugar? Oh, sorry, can I get that made with oat milk too? So you want cream and oat milk? Ma'am? You want cream and oat milk? Yes. And that's all. Y'all, I'm so excited that they have this camera because people be weird. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> I wasn't always on the Thank you. Y'all, look how excited I am to get this coffee. Okay, but, um, I've been backing off of drinking my coffees lately. Like, I haven't been drinking them as much. One, because I just don't have time. Um, Y'all don't know this, but I just got, like, a part-time job. Um, No, it's not in my field, but it's okay. Because, I mean... Where am I going? To the doctor. I normally wake up in the morning and make a smoothie at home and go to work, take my smoothie with me. Um, just because it's healthier and it's more convenient just because I can make it at home. But today I decided to grab an iced coffee and now Dunkin' Donuts started um, in, started incorporating, you can get oat milk instead of regular milk. So what y'all know about this? Y'all, I don't know if it's because I haven't had it in a while, but this iced coffee slamming. It's so good. This is, and like I said, this is with oat milk because I've been trying to, I consume a lot of dairy in my life. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. But actually, no, let me clear that up because 
I used to be like a cereal fanatic. Like I ate cereal like for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But I have definitely cut out cereal because it's really four to five foods. And once again, milk. And I've been drinking oat milk with anything that I do. So like I said, Dunkin' Donuts um, brought in oat milk. Super good, it's super good in my iced coffee. Y'all heard my order, iced coffee, caramel, and mocha cream light. Sometimes I'll do light sugar, sometimes I'll do no sugar. And then now I say, can I get it made with oat milk instead of regular milk? So bomb. Anyways, y'all, I'm about to go to my doctor's appointment and I'll see you guys later because I want to listen to my music. And you know YouTube, be tripping with the copyright, so. <laughs> okay guys, I'm back from going to the doctor, running my errands. I stopped at Walmart to get some paper towels, but I also needed some black undershirts. Y'all, Walmart is, I'm not even trying to like gas up Walmart right now, but they have been stepping it up lately in the clothing department. I want to show y'all the tank tops that I got. So I got some, ooh, that's a nice little color palette. I got some undershirts for, cause you know, fall is coming up. These are great for layering. So this cute rust color and it's kind of ribbed like a neutral tan color, a black, gray, and then like another camel color, and then another black one. But I also got this cute little cardigan. This was so cute, and it's long. I love long cardigans. Y'all, Walmart, I'm shook. So yeah, that's like my vibe for fall. I love just doing like an undershirt, and then a uh, um, cardigan, leggings, or jeans, whatever, and there you go. But anyways, yeah, I mean, of course, like, Target, Old Navy, or any clothing stores that you go to, they're cool, they have cute stuff, but all I'm saying is, don't sleep on the wallet, wall, wallet world, because they have been stepping it up, but anyways, I'm about to rinse this deep conditioner out my hair, let me see, Ooh, I'm, yeah, I'm about to rinse this deep conditioner out and go ahead and twist up my hair. Okay guys, I'm back on the cam. So, I'm actually about to try to put this on while I do my hair, just so, you know, the J-Sculpt belt to help. I don't know if this is considered waist training or whatever, but to help my stomach out, yeah. Cause, hey now, according to the scale, I done lost by five pounds. So, this was very hard to put on before, and let's see how difficult it is now. Okay, got, uh, I told y'all, this, forget my head but I got it on it was hard but it wasn't as hard as it was before um yeah I have it on I'm gonna leave it on for I don't know how long I'm gonna try like an hour um it's not that uncomfortable but it is uncomfortable so yeah I'm gonna leave this on while I do my hair and see how that goes. Hey guys, I know you're probably wondering, whoa, that was a big transformation. Don't get it twisted. My twists are still back here, pinned up under this hat. But me and my sister are actually about to get ready to film an episode of Millennials Voice Podcast. It'll be right here on the screen. And you can, of course, click the card that pops up right now and check us out over on YouTube and Spotify. So like I said, we're about to record an episode. So of course, I had to get a little glam. But y'all, this whole outfit only came about because my hair is still twisted up. And obviously, y'all know if you're natural, my twists are not dry. Therefore, I can unravel them. So I had to figure out how am I going to wear a hat and still be cute. So I was like, oh, I forgot I had a little train conductor hat or whatever. So that's what I did. And we took it from there and rolled with it. Mm-hmm. So this is what I came up with. Y'all can even see because the lighting sucks. But it's like this white little crop top thing. And then these, uh, like, are these camo pants? Green camo pants. And then gold hoops. Not quite sure 
what um, shoes I'm gonna do. These little flats with little studs on them or should I do these little heels? I don't know, y'all let me know. Should we go flat stud? These are too big for me, but no one will know. Or should we go heel? My toes are not done. I don't know, guys. I'm kind of feeling the heel, to be honest. Oh, yeah, the heel gives it a whole nother. I'm giving it. I'm going to do the heel. It gives it a whole nother effect. And you guys can, of course, see, like, all the outfit deets on our um, podcast Instagram, which will be right here as well, which is mvpodcast underscore. Check us out on Instagram or whatever. So, yeah, y'all, I'm feeling this look. Let me find out. I can wear this out with my friends one day. Y'all haven't been out to the club or out to nothing in so long because of COVID. And then, like, some of my friends don't live in town no more. So, but, yeah. Even though, like, the bars and clubs and stuff are back open, I'm not. That's, y'all crazy. I, ain't, I don't have to go party and dance and clubbing and drinking that bad. It ain't that deep. So, like I said, make sure y'all check us out. And, um... I'll probably see y'all later or something. I don't know. All right, guys, and we are done. Dayelle, say something. Subscribe, guys. Okay. The mm -hmm. best podcast, honey. For our generation. Yes. We serving looks, serving knowledge, serving funny. Y'all have to make sure. Serving melanin, serving. We're single, but we're not ready to mingle because we bossed up. I am. Okay, I've been single my whole <laughs> life. Jesus. Anyways, but yeah, I told you guys that we were. I was getting ready to film for our 10th episode, which we're really excited about once again. But I'm actually about to wrap it up for the night. I'll see y'all probably tomorrow. Don't I look fabulous? Hey guys, it's the next day. Y'all don't know this, but my mom's birthday is actually Thursday. It's coming up in... Today's Tuesday, so me and my sister are on our way out just to get her something. So we're gonna stop by Edible Arrangements and then we're gonna go to the shoe store because she's been talking about she wants some like tennis shoes to walk in and she really loves Crocs. So we'll probably get her some Crocs. We're headed out. Anything you wanna say to the peeps? Mm. Hi. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Okay, so we found the tennis shoes for my mom. And these are the ones we decided to go with. Her and they all were the same size, so we tried them on. Well, she tried them on, and they're pretty neutral, which she likes. And Dayelle says they're really comfortable, so we got those. She just got hip to how comfortable Crocs are, because I put her on, so now she wants all the, all the colors. So we got her these, which is like a new line from Crocs, and they're super duper comfortable. So, got those for her. Hey guys, so I just got off work woo and um i'm actually about to change into some comfy clothes sorry i'm a little sweaty i took my dog out walking it's a little humid in georgia right now but anyways i'm about to go downstairs and juice up like um i make these healthy juices for my mom so it's like kale broccoli spinach turmeric ginger all that good stuff so i juice it up for her and put it in uh mason jars so that's what we're about to do right now but i'm also going to be sipping on some green tea like a detox tea because i need to detox and then i'm going to wash my makeup brushes and then i think i'm just going to chill for the rest of the night um probably watch some youtube videos oh and let me say this new episode of millennials was podcast just went up literally an hour ago make sure you guys check it out check it out check it out we are talking about um Making a Stallion's SNL performance, uh, Trump's coronavirus case. We're talking about all kinds of stuff. Yeah, it's some good stuff. So make sure you guys click right here and go check us out. Okay, it's free. Anyway, so that's what I have going on on this Wednesday night. Tomorrow's Thursday, which is, oh, I forgot to tell y'all. 
tomorrow is my mom's birthday and y'all know we went to edible arrangements and her arrangement is downstairs in the refrigerator so i need to hide it so when she comes home she don't see it and then i showed y'all the shoes we got her and yeah then friday and then saturday i am off thank you i really wish i had eyebrows i say that in every video but i really do because i look like a naked mole rat sometimes but anyways neither here nor there so i'm about to put on some comfy clothes and get to juicing Okay guys, as you can see, this is the juicer. And in here already is celery, spinach. But right now I am adding in some broccoli. I'm gonna be adding carrots, turmeric, blueberries, apples. The lemons just help to preserve it longer. The kale and uh, Normally she would put, or I would put garlic in it because that helps you, that's really good for you too. Um, now y'all, truthfully, honestly, I should be drinking this stuff too. But, uh, I'm not there yet. I just, ugh, it's so nasty. It's not just, it's just super duper bitter, which is why we add the apples to kind of help with the tart and bitterness of it all. But I'm not that mature yet, okay? Maybe one day. I'm just gonna add some more broccoli. Today is Thursday, as I told y'all yesterday. Today is my mom's B day. B -do. Anyways, um, so actually, this is pretty spontaneous. I didn't know we we're going out to eat today, y'all. I'm fresh off work, and then they y'all had the nerve to say, "What about your?" Because I didn't have no clothes on earlier, so I was about to get ready. And they all said, "What you gonna do with your hair?" Ooh, don't y'all hate those people? My hair's already done. Been wearing it like this all week. Anyways, um, so we're about to go to a place called Jazzy Crab, and it's, you know, seafood crab legs, like Gusto Forovo. But I wanted to actually show you guys this crew neck that I got from, this crew neck that I got from, um, a small black business called Working Woman, and I really like it. What's the vibe? Like, 90s? 80s. 90s. What? 80s. This Nine, it's 90s. Remember, like this font is very 90-ish like or whatever. Workout 90-ish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, anyways, I wanted to show y'all that. Oh, and I'm wearing. You know what I'm saying? My um Air Maxes. Oh no, y'all. I'm not a sneaker head, but certain Nikes I like. Anyways, I will see you guys when we get to the restaurant. Show y'all what we twerking with. Oh, and my mom liked her gifts or whatever. And when she went to work today, one of her coworkers surprised her with a little um impromptu little birthday party thingy she bought a cake and finger sandwiches the avocado and stuff really nice okay i'm rambling see you later okay guys we are here this is our food a chance in life mom got some gumbo and some clam what is it and then man y'all are sharing this platter it smells delish oh mom do you want to be on my vlog you want to be on my vlog i told them it was her birthday Mom, you just say hey to the people. got off work we get it we get it work 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 y'all look at my skin though my skin has been looking so much better lately 
Shout out to my new skincare routine. If y'all are interested in the skincare routine, let me know because I changed like my little skincare routine or whatever, but it's been months now. So, but anyways, um, I just came home, but I came, don't you love coming home to packages? I purchased an order from Sorella Boutique. Y'all know like Heather Sanders. She has a um, clothing store called Sorella, no Nipsey, called Sorella. She's, it's really popular for the girls tour merch. And I ordered something, but I'm not going to show y'all because I'm doing an online haul coming up soon on my channel. So be on the lookout for that. And another thing that I ordered from Quiche Couture, really small, but really cute, came in the mail. That's going to be in a haul. I ordered some other stuff that hasn't came in yet. It's going to be in the haul, but I wanted to show y'all these cute freaking earrings. This isn't, I just bought these from Target tonight. Is it just me? These are so cute to me. These are super cute. Bows, these are literally about to be like my everyday earring. For real, these are so cute. And I went and grabbed some food from this place I've never been before, but it's it's hibachi, pretty much. So I got a uh, miso soup on the side, and then, you know, it comes with a salad. And look at Nipsey, try to get back. That's a lot of rice. I'm not going to eat all that. But it's just shrimp hibachi. And I got extra teriyaki sauce. Oh, and I got a drink from Sonic. So, yeah, it's Friday night. If y'all don't know, I'm a big fan of the 85 South show. They, and every Friday, they post a new episode, a new podcast. And every Friday, I look forward to it. So, I'm just about to chillax. I forgot I'm supposed to be doing a freaking room trans... I've been down in my room. I did a whole room transformation makeover video and yeah i'm gonna i need to actually record that so let me stop rambling but i will see you guys actually what's today yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow